What's up, Fox Trotters, and welcome back to the channel. This is KB with the Foxhole. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, hello. It's nice to see you all again. So once again, I just want to say thank you. We have crossed over 130 subscribers, and again, without too much babble, mind blown. Pew. So um, I'm in a really good mood. I really feel like having fun and laughing today and so I'm gonna. <laughs> so we're gonna do the r slash Lula No, which is also, again, uh, part of r slash and to MLM, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, um, we're gonna laugh at some patterns, at some outfits, and perhaps a rare Lula Bro sighting. I mean, I don't know. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you, <laughs> then please stay tuned. Also, quick heads up, allergies have fully attacked me. Uh, summer's in full swing up in the Pacific Northwest, so uh, as a heads up, forgive me if I sound like Chucky from Rugrats, because that's kind of what it feels like. Wow, we've never seen one of these before. It's a Lulubo going out of business poster post from some social media. Again, I don't have Facebook or Instagram. I see the little blue zigzaggy thing. I think that might be Facebook, right? It doesn't actually matter at all. Anyway, <laughs> Lularo over 350 pieces for $6,000. I think that comes out to roughly, what, 17-ish bucks per piece, but then it's like over 350, so <laughs> that just says to me that they got to 350 and we're like, to hell with that, we're not counting anymore, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Sell the whole thing for 6,000 bucks, that's it. Yeah, I mean, I guess I get that. Wowie, we are off to the races, folks. <laughs> Okay, to be clear, this is uh, this pattern is a lot more mild than most uh, we have seen up to this point, honestly. But two problems. <laughs> One, what on earth is that cut? Who is shaped like an equilateral triangle? Just the top part of them. <laughs> it's like they just gave up. They're like, mm, yeah, no, this will fit anyone. It's fine. Just it'll fit. It'll just rest over your shoulders. Mm, that's all we need it to do. Just to hang there. Uh, and then also, the second problem, why is it on a white background? It just really draws your eyes to the two white stripes going down the middle, and then it looks like some weird kind of 3D eye trick, and then it's like, I'm not into it. I don't know. I just have some major problems with that. Why on the white background? Like the caption says, it makes it look like half the shirt's disappearing. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the pattern itself is truly the least of the problems here. Let's, <laughs> let's be honest. And here we have, wow, this makes me bored. I mean, I'm all into a good pastel, but this just makes me want to take a nap. I feel like it is so washed out. And, you know, I'm a blonde, but I see these blondes and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of washed outness. It's a lot of, I just feel like I need to speak really softly and like whisper and shh, just everything's muted and very... Just be very quiet. This is a quiet library. Those outfits are so washed out. They better not get lost in that desert or they will never be found again. They're just going to blend into that sand. Just blend right in. <laughs> Here we have before you the wild little bro. They do exist. They are very real and they are suffering. <laughs> I can't even see his face and I just know he's suffering. What do you think he's thinking right now? <laughs> I'm sure this is 100% a willing photo. I'm sure he wasn't forced to do this. I'm sure he did this because his wife or girlfriend's business is really just doing so well and he's just excited to be a part of it. I'm sure he loves going to work and telling his friends, yeah, I'm a Lula bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Godspeed, Lula bro. Godspeed to you. <laughs> I really wish you the best, sir. And I hope your girl woke up and got out of this. And I hope you didn't spend too much money, but she probably did. So, oh man, moving on. When I first came across this one, I thought, hey, as far as a pattern goes, that's not a bad pattern, you know, like for a cool print to put on the wall or maybe some uh, quirky shower curtains, something like that. It could be kind of funky. I don't know. I'm in the Pacific Northwest. We love bears out here, you know, uh, not as I wouldn't wear them, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and that's all I noticed. And I was just kind of sitting there thinking about, hmm, you know, the bear thing. Then I scrolled down and I just looked. Look at this. $115 for one pair of leggings. Are you kidding me? Because they are an ultimate unicorn. That's the LuLaRoe thing. They just call a rare pattern, quote unquote rare, a unicorn. It could be anything. You saw, they called the hot dog print unicorn. Are you kidding me? It's not unicorn. Whatever the hell that means. Just, that's just an excuse to, to rack up a, a ridiculous price point for a pair of, of freaking leggings with bear faces on them. I am ashamed and embarrassed to admit how long it took me to figure out what the heck goobers meant. I get it, going out of business, okay, okay. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> Look at that sea of patterns, my word. It is so obtrusive, all of it. It looks like the back corner of the fabric store that nobody touches, you know, the materials that have been around for so long, but nobody uses and no one can get rid of. That's what that is. <laughs> it's just a bunch of like terrible tablecloth patterns and then some. <laughs> and then also the bed with the no sheets on it just makes it kind of like, uh oh, what kind of sale is this? Is this more than a going out of business sale? Is this a going out of my house sale? Is that what's happening? That's what it makes me feel like. I don't know. After I saw that Vice documentary, I just assume the worst whenever I see these sales as much as I laugh about it. Deep down, I also kind of feel bad. <laughs> Oof, <laughs> a little counterintuitive there. <laughs> Karen, yes, all sizes can wear it, but we still don't want it. Pattern mix master. <laughs> I couldn't get the whole thing in the clip because of my uh, stunning editing abilities. <laughs> but she is also wearing jeans for the reference. That dress stops somewhere above her knee and below that are her jeans. I'm not sure if that was intentional, if that's part of the outfit, or <laughs> if that was just like, you know, she wasn't, she just didn't want to take her jeans off for the, sh for the shot. I don't know if she's in a hurry, <laughs> but this is painful. Um, the other day, the Illuminati made a video on Lula No as well, and it was hilarious. And uh, she mentioned that it makes her eyes hurt when she sees these pattern combos. And that's just the truth. It's just visually, I mean, even on their own, they're kind of like one on one piece on their own. It's pretty intense. You put them together and it's just like your eyes. It feels like you're looking at one of those 3D uh, posters. Like when back in the kid in the nineties, we used to love those a lot. You stare at them for hours and then try to see the sailboat in the middle of the thing. But all you end up really doing is just like screwing up your eyes. <laughs> That's what this makes me feel like. <laughs> This, based on my childhood experience, offended me highly. <laughs> I highly doubt Lisa Frank would want to be associated with this nonsense. I hope so. Lisa, Lisa, you better not have let them have anything of yours. <laughs> Gorgeous purple with Lisa Frank leopard print. No, you know what Lisa Frank is? Lisa Frank is beautiful rainbow kittens sitting in the clouds covered in crowns and jewels and magical rainbow splendor. Okay, that's what Lisa Frank is. So knock it off and don't you dare ever bring her into this. <laughs> ever. Oh no. She won't stop buying LuLaRoe. She likes cheaply made clothes with horrendous patterns too much. <laughs> I will do anything for love. Please stop buying LuLaRoe. <laughs> but I won't do that. <laughs> oh great, you won't you won't stop spending all of your family's money and wasting it on horrible product that no one wants to buy and potentially damaging your family's uh, financial security in the future. Yeah, that's good. That's you're a good you're a good family person. Yeah, no, that's it's fine. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at this one up close and break this one down. Okay, so I'm looking at the very under under base layer, which looks like a pink and purplish bluish kind of plaid skirt, maybe. 
And then over that is a multicolored striped dress. And then over that is a black and grayish striped long sweater. And then over <laughs> that is a denim jacket. <laughs> oh, and don't forget the necklace. Um, don't forget the necklace. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to accessorize when you dress like this. I hope you don't mind my um, <laughs> crappy editing at the top. <laughs> it just sad face and help just seemed like what I would be saying if someone had me in this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> what is with LuLaRoe and their pig pattern? They have like a pig obsession. So many piggy patterns. I feel like I've already had pictures of previous Lula pig patterns that are not this particular pig pattern, but were separate and different pig patterns. <laughs> I just can't imagine there is that large of a market for pig patterns. <laughs> The caption's funny, too. As a plus-size woman, I can confirm we love nothing more than shirts with chubby pigs all over them. <laughs> okay, that one got me a little teary-eyed. <laughs> I needed that. Mm. Lovely blouse from Lulano. I joined just to share the lovely print on this blouse from Lulano that my sister-in-law gave me. She used to sell and now that she stopped, she decided to unload a lot of her inventory on me. There were a lot of terrible prints in the pile, but this takes the cake. Sorry I don't have a picture of the whole thing, but it has long since been sent to the donation barrel, and I even felt a little bad about that. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to wear neon ticks with creepy skulls on their backs? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. It is! Ew! It's a buttload of ticks! Look! Look! That's a tick! Ew! 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 It's a shirt full of ticks! I don't know if they thought those were like cute little crustaceans. They just had no time to really check, but... Oh no! It's a shirt full of ticks! Ew! I feel like that would get you kicked out of a public place. <laughs> And for the obligatory cute animal photo today, it is Tippy and Boots right in the middle of a good little play session. Boots' upper lip was stuck in his teeth. <laughs> it just melted in my heart. <laughs> he looks so goofy. And I would definitely recommend to anyone who is looking to get a new member of their family to adopt and not shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane society. Donate if you can. Volunteer if you can. And as always, don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like that video, please hit that like button down below. If you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Fox Trotters. It's pretty awesome, I promise you. <laughs> Lots of good MLM garbage comes out of here. And if you like that, well, hey, you found your place. <laughs> Feel free to leave comments below for any ideas or further suggestions. And as always, folks, thank you once again for all of the support. And until the next video, take care.